SEG is planned based on anatomy electroclinical data by using multimodal imaging. Desired datasets are co-registered to a reference vascular angiographic dataset acquired by using GoArm. The software for SEG planning presents with dedicated options allowing visualization of the typical probe's eye view to explore the trajectory along X axis and reciprocal orthogonal planes along the axis of each trajectory. Angiographic images are crucial to avoid vessels as much as brain MR sequences, in particular the T1, to maximize the sampling of cerebral cortex. Surgical safety is granted by the correct use of the robotic stereotactic arm. The new arm is employed to obtain the real surgical space dataset, becoming the new reference space to which preparative ones are co-registered. Based on SEG recorded of critical and intercritical activities and stimulation outcomes, a series of brain regions are proposed as suitable for radio frequency thermocoagulation. By means of the same software, new trajectories involving the hypothetical coagulating electrodes are defined. Based on our experience and previously on experimental data, a so-called 4 mm of diameter center on electrode axis is drawn, checking coagulation feasibility by using in particular with the probe view tool. Coagulation are confirmed if vascular structures are not visible into the circle along the entire coagulating trajectory length, explored with 1 mm steps. Simulation outcome and evoke potentials are employed to avoid coagulating through electrodes position at the level of eloquent regions. Coagulations are performed at bedside in a bipolar manner, starting from 0 to 8.32 Watt in 60 seconds. This modality allows to get the maximum coagulation sites. After coagulations, electrodes are removed. The patient is a 33 year old female with a negative familiar history for epilepsy and developmental myosin were regularly reached. At 20 years old, she had a sudden and unexpected worsening of academic performances and seizure onset. She was unaware of monthly episodes on evening with staring paleness and when walking she goes on sometimes taking the wrong road. Before she is a seizure stops, she turns on if called. She often repeats a sentence such as what time is it and then she's confused and tired. A complete recovery occurred in 10 minutes. Neuropsychological testing revealed a selective alteration of verbal fluency and visual spatial long-term memory. EG reveal interictal spikes on the right front temporal region. At the long term monitoring, a seizure with right posterior quadrant region rapidly diffused to the contralateral temporal region were recalled. T1 
brain images allow to detect the bilateral periventricular nodal heterotropia, which is more evident on the right side and extended from the tip of the right sphenoidal horn of the ventricle back to the temporal occipital junction. A contralateral nodule is visible at the level of the cellar media. The implantation planning is bilateral, with a particular attention to nodules coverage. A right parietal elector is placed to study the eventual parietal extension of the discharge. Based on SEG data, extended thermal coagulations are performed on both sides, involving nodules and the right fusiform gyrus region. Five years after thermocoagulation, the patient is free from seizures and antiplectic drugs have been completely stopped. Possible complications include neurological deficit due to tired brain damage or vascular damage. The information obtained by SCG mediated cortical and subcortical brain mapping avoid the coagulation of eloquent regions. A careful thermocoagulation planning avoids to lesion vascular structures too close to electrodes chosen for coagulation.